As the pandemic continues and as we discuss recovery, we must also remember that this pandemic might turn into endemic. And we might actually see COVID being with us for a long time. For many of us and for many in our communities across the continent, we see that whereas in March, April, up to maybe July, August, there was what people thought was the peak, we are seeing that that's not true. We are seeing the virus now spreading further to the rural areas, so it's going to be with us for a long time. That's number one. We expect that many countries will go through different phases of their curve, and the countries that are highly urbanized, highly mobile, will be fast, but the countries that are much lower in terms of urbanization and human mobility will come later. So we expect that there's going to be a bumpy tail for this pandemic in the continent, country by country. But I think the most important thing for us is to ask ourselves, how do we have collective responsibility? How do we have a global solidarity and responsibility in ensuring that no country is left behind? Because remember that no one is safe if not everyone is safe. If one person is unwell, then no one is safe because the pandemic can reactivate itself depending on travel and contact between human beings. So we have to work on this together. Ensuring that we have safe borders is again a collective responsibility, not a country to country uh, responsibility. So as we look forward, what we really need to do as we see these infections are going to be there for a long time, that actually the health system demand is going to continue for a long time, it's how do we together build capacity for the health system to respond to the needs of its communities, not only in 2020, not only in 2021, but beyond. Because again, remember, COVID-19 is not the last pandemic. It's just one of the ones we expect to see as we go forward, especially with the big issue, the big elephant in the room, which is climate change. So we have to work together. And remember, it's not about today, it's about tomorrow. So as I come to the end of my address to you, and thank you very much for having me, I would like to also tell you that there is hope, that we've seen science come to our help, and we've seen vaccines developed. And these vaccines, there has been a global movement to ensure that every country, every community, every individual who needs the vaccines will access them. It's not going to be easy. The researchers will do their work, but then we have to develop vaccine delivery programs. And AMREF, as an international NGO in Africa working in 35 countries, is at the center of the conversation around policies and regulatory frameworks for ensuring that the COVID vaccine is available to all. Ensuring that we know who needs it first, prioritizing and helping government to go through this. And obviously with our resources, for example, Amra Flying Doctors, ensuring we are available to fly vaccine commodities across countries. Ensuring that with our people on the ground, with the community health workers, we are able to mobilize demand and overcome vaccine hesitancy in the communities and ensure that Communities that need the vaccine, access it. But we cannot do this alone, ladies and gentlemen. And now as I close, I would like to call upon each one of you to go back to your heart and to think, how can you participate in the continued response to the pandemic and in its recovery for every community, every individual? Think about that mother, that child who has become jobless and they need a mask. Think about that family that needs a meal because export markets have not been open, jobs have been lost. Think about that child who needs care from their mother, whose mother may be sick with COVID-19 and cannot afford oxygen and therefore is struggling in the hospital. Think about that and think about what your role could be by partnering with Amherst Health Africa. Thank you.